All right, y'all, welcome back to the channel and to some more turkey patterning. And today, we've got another combination that I'm really looking forward to trying because I'm thinking if the shell actually works and does what it's supposed to do, we should be able to get some really impressive results. But I just think it's going to come down to whether or not these shells are consistent performers or not. We've seen some mixed stuff on them so far, so I guess it could really kind of go either way. So for the shell we've got out here today, it's another one that Joseph sent in. So a big thank you to him for sending some of these over because they are next to impossible to find right at the moment. But I brought out some more of the Winchester Longbeard XR 20 gauge shells. These ones are the three inch one and a quarter ounce of sixes moving about a thousand feet per second and the last time we tested these they did really well much more like a long beard type of pattern than what we had been seeing out of the long beard fives in 20 gauge those fives just haven't performed but the first shell we did with these sixes was rather impressive so are the sixes better is this particular box with some of them in there better i don't know but if they are better and they are consistent performers then we should see a really good pattern through today's setup and and as for the setup we've got here today, I brought back out the Stevens 301 20 gauge, but I threw in this choke. This is a Cabela's Black Max 575 constriction turkey choke, and for being like a $30 ish choke, it has been really, really impressive for us. It's not the tightest constriction for a 20 gauge, but it seems to really work. And some of the patterns we've seen out of this choke have been just beyond impressive for a 20 gauge. So, at least on paper, this combination should work we know we've got a good shotgun we know we got a good choke it's just going to come down to what the longbeard sixes can do but as for the test today everything is set up the same as usual the turkey papers at 40 yards i've got the chronograph so we can get our velocity out of them as well so we'll get you guys a view of the target we'll take the shot look at the chrono and then go look at our results i really hope these longbeard sixes are better than the fives or at least this box of sixes might be a good box of them because i really hope we see one of those really hot nice looking looking long beard type of patterns today but we just don't know until we try it so let's go over here and take the shot and just see what kind of a pattern they're actually able to give us Okay, so that shell gave us 1,072 through the chrono. The boss claims 1,000, so we are a little above their claim, but based on the previous tests we've done with these long beard shells and 20 gauge, right at or around the 1,100 feet per second mark is typically what we see. So I think we're pretty much right exactly where we should be for these shells. But how did they actually pattern down there at 40 yards? Let's go take a look and see what we got. All right, now we're down here at our 40 yard paper and this is what we got. And I gotta say, it is rather disappointing. Based on the last test we did with these Longbeard 6s and 20 gauge, this isn't even in the same ballpark. This is much closer to what we've seen out of the Longbeard 5s and I was absolutely hoping for better. So even though we've only tested two shells and we definitely need to test more of the Longbeard 6s, I think they might have the same inconsistency problems as the Longbeard 5s that we've been testing. But that's just based on two tests and we need to do more testing to really find out. Either way, this isn't even close to what we had seen previously. Is it good enough to get you a turkey? Sure. As you can see, there's what, four through the brain there, maybe five and a couple more down the spine. So yeah, you would have gotten the bird and there's not really a whole lot of space in there for him to get away from you. But still, that is not a long beard type of pattern. If I was to show you a picture of that and ask you what kind of shell it was, chances are you probably wouldn't say a long beard shell. The pattern overall is very splotchy and kind of just thrown all over the place. We have kind of sort of a central core area starting right around what's on screen there, but still it's not even really what I would call a core and it is even splotchy as you can see. And as soon as you get outside of that, it's just got pellets thrown all over the place especially down there at the bottom it strings way down and off to the side over there it's just not very pretty looking is it good enough again sure is it what i was hoping for or what we should be seeing out of these long beard 20 gauge shells no not at all now i guess it could be just that that long beard 568 choke that we tested these through last time is the only choke that really does well with them i suppose that's a possibility but it's 
unlikely, especially with this 575 Black Max having performed as good as it has with as many loads as we've tested through it. I just think that these long beards across the board in 20 gauge are just inconsistent. So as for today's results here, another pretty disappointing pattern from them. It would have gotten you the turkey, but still, I would almost rather use a shell that patterns a little bit less impressively, but consistently, rather than having a shell that might perform good or might perform terrible if I'm going to take it out and hunt with it. So I guess more testing is required for these long beard shells in 20 gauge, but I was definitely hoping for better than this, I'd say that. Okay, and here's the wad from that shell, and as you can see, pretty well the exact same thing we always see from these long beard 20 gauge wads. A little bit thicker white plastic instead of the little bit thinner gray that they use in the 12 gauge version, but still it looks very much the same as always. Nothing stuck down in there. We did have one petal open up a little farther than the others, but that's not entirely unusual. It definitely did not snag on anything or twist weird or anything like that, so I don't think the choke is to blame here or the wad is to blame. I just don't don't think these long beard 20 gauge shells have the quality control that they need to have so the wad today looks very much normal and nothing really too suspect for me all right y'all well what did you think about that pattern right there is it good enough to get you a turkey with sure but that's not a long beard pattern we should be seeing way better than that and we did see way better than that last week when we tested these same long beard sixes through the long beard 568 carlson's choke so is it a case of just that particular choke really working well with them maybe but i doubt it this 575 black max should have done very good as well i just think we have some inconsistent quality going on here which does not surprise me based on what a lot of you guys have said as well but let me know your thoughts about it down in the comments is that about what you expected? Were you a little surprised one way or the other? Have you tested any of the Longbeard 20 gauge shells in the fives or the sixes? And have you seen a difference or any inconsistencies in them? And would you hunt with the Longbeard 20 gauge shells seeing these inconsistencies? Let me know all that down below. But with that being said, I've got some more testing to get done for you guys. So I'm going to get back to it. As always, we have the channel Instagram as well as the mailbox where you can send stuff if you'd like. All that information will be in the description if you're interested in it but I'm going to get back to it, so I'll see y'all in the next one.